Hello everyone, it's Jackie and I'm back with the design team project um, for Rach and Bella Crafts. Um, I've done a fair bit of design team work in the past for Tracy, for Auntie Mays, Mrs Cog, Chapter One Papers are a few of them. Um, and uh, a lot of you will know probably that um, I, I basically gave it up when my mother became really ill in the last few years of her life. Um, she died 15 months ago and I felt like I needed a challenge and Rach and Bella kindly took me on. So this is what I've put together for um, my first design team project. I use two kits. I use the Ladies of Abbott Fuller Graves. This was the title sheet and I did use that as you'll see at the end. And I used uh, vintage collage tear papers, which I printed on very thin um, layout paper. I think it's 50 GSM. Um, and I had eight sheets of that, and I've really only got just a few scraps left of that. I've used it all up. Um, the ladies, I printed a couple of them twice. So there are a few, a few of those left. Um, I went back to my own um, tutorials for this and used some of my tag ephemera um, tutorials that I've done. So if you are interested in recreating any of these, um, I will put a link as well as to Rach and Bella and the kits and everything. I'll put a link to um, the playlist of the tutorials that I've taken these from. Um, I think there's about 18 on there at the moment and I use number six, number eight, number 12, number 13, number 14 and number 15. So number, I think this was number six, but I'm not quite sure now which is which. I forgot I didn't label them. So um, you'll just have to fish around for that if you're interested. So it's um, a tag with a pocket and another pocket inside. All these are designed to be to hold some vintage ephemera or possibly writing paper. Um, I hope if you're watching this, you're into journals, so you'll know what I'm talking about. But they can be used for gift card holders as well or just normal tags if that's what you like. So um, the cardstock is covered with one of the collage tear papers. Um, images, image on the front, um, I've put a few silk flowers, a bit of bling and a little bit of a dangle at the top here. This is um, crinkled seam binding. Such pretty images. Uh, this one is, again, I've used a charm. This is a little booklet. Um, this is one of the sheets I printed twice because this has got a pocket on the back and I wanted the lady on the back as well. Um, and that's a vellum tag, so you can see her through that uh, pocket. And then inside, you've got two little pockets on the inside as well. Just use some Edith Holden paper to um, extend this image. Put a charm on the side and she pops in there. It's a bit of vintage lace I've just got caught up. <laughs> That's that one. There's an eyelet in the top there. This one is a pocket. This is very much based on Tracy Fox's December Daily 2021, one of the projects she did for that. Um, this is some tissue paper ruffles, some silk flowers, a bit of lace. I really struggled to make this one, <laughs> even though it was my, you know, my own tutorial, but um, it gave me a really hard time and I made lots of mistakes, but I was determined not to give up. Um, you can see I've had to do a double row of stitching along there was one of one of the errors. It's got a dangle on the back and then inside just a tag again covered with the um, vintage collage tear papers. So that's that one. This one, I really liked this image and um, this has got one of those little snippet um, paper clip uh, decorations on it and again I haven't put anything in this yet but again it's um, a pocket in a pocket just a slightly different style I think it's slightly different 
yes, I've done the same one twice. And then this just um, fastens on the side there. Just to dress that up a bit. And I've used a little um, seahorse charm on there. This one is a booklet. Um, there's a little bit of bling on the bottom. I've used seam binding again, but not crinkled it this time. And again, um, this is paper from that, the collage papers. And again, there's some pockets on the inside, which you can use. And I've just put a little booklet in here. Um, I've used a piece of paper from um, a six by six scrapbook pad for that. But you could easily use a little bit more card and cover it, cover it with the paper again. I'd run out by that time and I didn't want to print. I can't really be bothered to print anything else. <laughs> bit lazy I know but there you go and then the final one is a pocket um, I use the cover sheet to make the pocket and then an image on the front this is some um, punches and inside it's a little notebook so this is decorated I just need to take that off there um, and some paper on the back so those are my or this is my design team project for July for Rach and Bella Crafts. I hope you'll check them out. She's got some or they've got some beautiful um, kits and I will see you all again. All the information will be under this video. Thank you.